loved her, comforted her, honored and keep her in sickness and in health, and that forsaking all others, for, forsaking all others for her alone, you will perform unto her all the respect that a husband owes to his wife, until God let death shall separate you. If so, respond, I will. Chinyer, do you take Douglas, this man, to be your wedded husband, and do you earnestly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love him, comfort him, honor him, obey him, obey him, <laughs> obey him, <laughs> in sickness and in health? And that forsaking all others for him, you will perform unto him all the duties that a wife owes unto her husband, until God by death shall separate you. If so, respond, I will. Who giveth this woman to marry?
In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. For as much as Chenieri and Douglas have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God in this company, and they too have pledged their faith each to the other and have declared the same by joining hands and giving them grace. Father, we bless thee and we thank thee. And we glorify thee, Father, this day. For you have made it and we are rejoicing and we glad in it. Now let us join them together, Father, in holy matrimony. I pray right now, Father, that as they have exchanged rings, Father, that you keep them in covenant with you first and in covenant with each other. For this we say thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Like the community calendar. I present to you all, Mr. and Mrs. Douglas Hizzy. 